I am JJ and in this example I'm going to go over factoring where a is equal to 1. The first thing we want to do is to make sure our example is in descending order of the variable, highest to lowest, and it is. We also want to check for greatest common factor. Here there isn't one. And since a is equal to 1, we're going to go ahead and set up two brackets with an x in front of each. The next thing we want to do is look for factors of minus 24 that sum to minus 5. Well, if we, min if we times minus 8 by positive 3, it gives us negative 24. And if we add negative 8 and positive 3, it gives us negative 5. So those are the factors we're looking for. And we're going to put those in the brackets, minus 8 there and positive 3 there, so that your factors are. And you can always check that to make sure you're right by using FOIL to multiply it out again.